Hello, welcome everyone. This video is going to be a little bit different. This video and hopefully moving forward, I want to have a series where I talk about what's going on in the uh, orchestra community, what's going on in the fighting game community, just to keep you guys posted, just to keep you guys updated in case if you've been busy and miss some of the news that's happening. Um, so this is episode one. Let's see where this series goes. So let's get into it. Let's start with Arcastic news. There has been a lot of sales going on as I predicted in my Arcastic buying guide video. Uh, the Quamba Drone, the Quamba Obsidian, the Razor Pandera, the Razor Pandera Evo, the Razor Atrox had huge discounts as I posted on my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and the YouTube community page. So I will be keep keeping you guys updated as I see more sales and as we get closer to the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox uh, release. For a while, there hasn't been much news on arcade sticks or any new arcade sticks for the new consoles, but everyone was very surprised when Madcast released a brand new arcade stick. Uh, it was called the Madcast Ego Fight Stick. Um, based on the picture that Madcast released, the fighting game community didn't really like it because the arcade stick looks like a rebrand of many existing arcade sticks that's already on the market. So we'll see what's going to happen down the road. Just some extra information. The original Mad Cats company is no longer in business. They were purchased by a bigger company. Now they focus on computer gaming accessories just like Razer. So I won't be surprised to see arcade sticks from Mad Cats in the future. Moving on to mobile fighting game. Last year in 2019, a popular mobile fighting game was released called Flappy Fighter. It was super fun and simple. Um, it was blowing up everywhere. It was blowing up on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. It has gotten so much attention, but that attention also gotten them in trouble. Uh, so the game has been taken down from the, the App Store due to legal issues. So they're still working it out with the company. Uh, so I will be keeping you guys updated. Hopefully everything is okay. Another popular mobile fighting game I want to talk to you about is Hero vs. Hero vs. is a very well-made uh, mobile fighting game for, I think, iPhone, Android, and the PC. Uh, they are currently in beta mode, which you can actually download the game and submit feedback and submit the bugs. They have a very big Discord community. Uh, they have online versus mode. They have online ranking mode. I also made a few videos on it. If you are interested, check them out. Next, let's talk about new fighting games for the console. You have probably heard, seen, watched, and maybe played it. Everybody is talking about Grand Blue Fantasy versus a new animated style fighting game developed by Arc System Works, the maker of Blaze Blue, Guilty Gear, Undernight in Birth, and Dragon Ball Fighter. Not only does the gameplay looks amazing, but the game is actually in Evo 2020 this year. So you already know, everybody's gonna go crazy, everyone's gonna want to jump into that game. But the most important thing is, unlike Street Fighter, King of Fighter, Marvel's Capcom, Mortal Kombat, Guilty Gear, all these older franchises that's been out for a long time, there's a, already a lot of professional players, a lot of veterans. Grand Blue Fantasy Versus is a brand new game. That means nobody is good yet. That means you and the professional players are, have the same chance, the same opportunity, um, because everybody is starting fresh. So we are going to see a lot of fresh faces. We are going to see a lot of new players this year in Evo 2020. So it's going to be very exciting. So here are the release dates for the different markets. As you can see, the game was released in Asia almost one month earlier compared to other markets. So a lot of players were not very happy because it seems unfair. The game is going to be in Evo 2020, which is not far away. Sometimes one month does make a difference, uh, but luckily it wasn't that big of a deal because anybody was able to download the Asia version. You basically just have to make a Asia PlayStation account uh, and then buy PSN points, redeem them in your Asia PlayStation account and then play it. So everybody was able to play it if you wanted to. I could have done it too, but I wanted a physical copy of the game. So I'm going to wait for March 3rd. Next, we have Guilty Gear Strive. I always like Guilty Gear and I always wanted to play it, but I just never had the chance to because at the time I was playing too many different fighting games. And on top of the many different fighting games, I was also playing Diablo, Dota, Warcraft, Hearthstone, and Counter-Strike. So I just never had enough time. Uh, Guilty Gear Strike will not be in Evo 2020, but it will be released this year. There is no exact date yet, but I am going to buy the game. So I look forward to learning and playing with you guys. 
Lastly, we have King of Fighters 15. It was officially announced in EVO 2019. Uh, King of Fighters is one of my favorite fighting game franchises. I used to play it a lot. Um, I'm actually pretty good at King of Fighters. Uh, I used to play King of Fighters 98 uh, all the way to King of Fighters 2003. After King of Fighters 2003, I took a little bit break because I was playing other games. But this year, I'm going back in. Uh, King of Fighters 15 will not be in EVO uh, 2020. And the company SNK hasn't released an exact date on yet, but I will keep you guys updated. So in conclusion, 2020 is going to be an amazing year for fighting games. We have three brand new fighting games coming out. Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, Guilty Gear Strive, and King of Fighters 15. And on top of that, we have two add-on updates. Uh, one of them is Street Fighter V Champion Edition. The other one is Under Night in Birth Claire. So this year is going to be a very exciting year for the fighting game community. And I'm going to do my best to give you guys more content and more tutorials. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe is all, always helpful for a small channel. And I'll see you guys on the next video.